Well, hey guys, and good morning. Another Monday here, and I am working in my Square Dilutions um, journal today. So I love the size of this one, and it is super fun and uh, easy to use a square journal. I do prefer only working on one side of my journal. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but we're just going to roll with it today. And as you see, um, I have this black and white um, printout here. Um, this is from Hooligans Magazine. And... It is a printable, not um, an actual like glossy like um, photo. And I'm going in with the color shift turquoise and a gray. I think this is called slate gray. And then I'm going in with my roller and I'm kind of dancing apparently, hence the little hand job there. And I'm also going to go in with this light blue color. <coughs> Excuse me. Going in with the gesso with the dip of the finger. I don't believe I used any. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I filmed a few videos all in this one sitting. So I can't remember which I did and which I didn't use. A paintbrush or did I? Hmm, I guess we'll see as I go through. It happens up. Sometimes when I have an off day, I try to double up and do multiple videos. And then I can't ever remember. And so originally I was kind of contemplating the idea of doing a image transfer. And an image transfer is messy and um, I just didn't want to do it. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue the image down. So um, I'm going to dry in between layers before I go in here with my... Um, with my glue, I want to make sure everything is good and dry. And then I'm just tearing off that little hard edge there. And I decided, <clears throat> excuse me, these allergies, goodness. It would um, kind of be fun to have that edge, the torn edge, kind of um, uh, laying beside it. Laying beside it. Sometimes I can't find the words, guys. And then to clean my paintbrush off, because, I mean, this is expensive craft paint. <laughs> that was sarcasm. <laughs> and um, I just clean. I just don't like wasting. If there is an opportunity to save something, I like to save it. So, I uh, just clean my paintbrush off back there on another page. So, I have kind of like a jump start the next time. And I'm using my Uhu glue stick, which is my glue stick of choice. And guys, most of the time, I, you know, I'm not a big fan, nor do I have time to write down all of the colors that I use. So I apologize. But what I will say is most, my most used supplies are either linked below or you can find them in my, um, Amazon storefront so just you know check that out I do make a small commission if you go through my link so it does help me buy additional supplies for videos so with that being said I just went over this little girl's face with um, gel medium and the reason I did that is to create a barrier from that copy paper to the um, actual image because I had considered the fact that it's all black and white which I love black and white photos by the way y'all probably already know that but but because I love black and white photos I sometimes like um enhancing the photo with a little pop of color so I'm kind of, oh, I do use the paintbrush. Hello, paintbrush. Um, so I do kind of keep that in mind that I do, um, possibly want to, um, go over that with some neo colors or paint or something like that. And it would have been a little harder to do and, um, you know, if I decided I didn't like it and had to wipe it up, if I did not have the gel medium on there, it would have caused a little problem. So that's why it's always best to put the gel medium over it and then not need it, then not put the gel medium over it and need it. You can also insert the word clear gesso at this point. So you could also use clear gesso if you don't have gel medium. 
And I'm just going to go in here with a little bit of this salmon pink um, uh, Neo Color 2. And as you see here, I'm just dabbing the actual um, wet paintbrush onto the Neo Color 2. Just giving her just a tiny touch of color. I'm going to zoom in here so hopefully you can see it. Just giving her a tiny touch of color on her cheeks as well as on her lip area. Just to bring a little bit of life into the face and kind of make your eye go like, hey girl. Yeah, like that. And so I hope y'all are having a beautiful and amazing Monday. I'm going to go in here with the Neo Color 2 color called Rose. And this was just a little bit more pinky, and I kind of like it a little more pinky. So, But yes, I hope you're having coffee and all the good things today, and that your week is amazing and beautiful. I decided that I did not love how dark and how harsh the lines were on that, um, the uh, Payne's Gray that I went in with. So I'm going to go back in with a little gray and a little gesso and just lighten that area up a little bit. Remember, when you paint something, guys, if you don't like it, cover that crap up. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and I also wanted to just leave y'all a little giblet of info that today goes the pre-sale of my brand new, very first solo class. I'm excited! Okay, so um, this class is available on Jean Oliver's Network, and you can click the link below to sign up and get the Early Bird Special Promo Price. Um, on that starting today, oh my gosh, I've been working so hard on getting this class and I hope that all of you will take it and all of you will love it and it is um, four and a half hours of content. I'm showing you how to do all the things. So make sure you click the video, go take a look at that class and uh, I'd love for you to sign up and support me. So, I found these words out. <laughs> that was my shameless plug right there. Did you see that? Just pop right in, pop right out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I found those words in that little mag. I mean, in that little book. Of course, I found the book at the thrift store. And I went in. I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, the Lyra Graphite pencil. Just a smack here or two. And I felt like it was a little bit woo in your face so I'm just dabbed it back with a little um uh baby baby wipe why are words not coming to my brain this morning I am not sure but thank you for watching okay so I'm gonna try this really well because I have made the mistake before of um thinking it was dry and then like closing the page to go take my photos and I jacked it up so, I'm making sure it's good and dry, picking up any extra little wet giblets with a piece of paper that, of course, I will use later. No wasting paper around here, people. Got it everywhere. And then I am going to glue down these words. So, what did my words say? What did my words say? Let's go find this picture. It said her hiding place. And I thought she kind of looked a little mischievous and like she was hiding or running from something. So I thought that that was cool. And I put um, her hiding place. So guys, um, that's pretty much going to wrap up the page. I did go in here and add a little catch light into her eye. And then I thought that it was too much. But because I had the baby wipe, I can just wipe it off. No biggie. So, thanks guys so much for joining me on this beautiful Monday. I hope that you have an amazing week. Please make sure you click the subscribe button. Like I say, if you're interested in the class, go check it out. And until next time, toodaloo!